Hello and welcome to my short video uh, just demonstrating a PCB agitator that I've just literally finished building. Um, it's basically designed to swill etching liquid around uh, when you're etching a circuit board um, to make it a bit more efficient. Um, right, basically what I've done is I've taken an old CD-ROM drive, I've turned it upside down and stuck it back on its base. Um, on the back you'll see that it's got some microelectronics. Um, basically you've got a motor driver chip and a pickaxe, uh, which is a pickaxe 18. Um, a little bit overkill for this application but it was kicking around and it's uh, probably a little bit outdated for for anything else now. Um, I've also put a couple of LEDs on there just to show which direction the motor's running and it's got a 5 volt regulator. So anyway, that's enough of me talking. Uh, I've got it connected up to a power supply. don't think you can see the voltage but anyway it's 9 volts because I've designed it to run off of a PP3 battery on that battery clip. So before I fire it up, um, I've kept one of all the lasers gone and everything. I've taken all that out, um, but I do. I have kept this circuit board here, which is uh, the one with the motor on it, and also it's got some switches. Uh, one of which I'm using, but I need to close the tray um, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, right, let's fire it up then. So, if I press the button, switch it on. It opens up and then starts oscillating to swill the liquid around. I'm putting myself a little note in there. Never put fluid directly in here ever because I'm likely to do that and make a bit of a mess. So as you can see the LEDs now turning showing which way the motor's running. Um, this down here is a reed switch, um, just out of an old alarm door contact that I had kicking around. And there's also one underneath there. Uh, that's what's showing it the, the end travel. When it reaches each one of those, it reverses the motor. So let me just quickly stop it by pressing this button again. It's all written in the computer program to make it do that nice and efficiently. So I'll take, this is tap water, but let's pretend it's uh, etchant. For the circuit board. We'll just push it a little bit further onto the desk there because we don't want any accidents. And I'll just demonstrate it running quickly. So there it goes. And as you can see, that would certainly help to etch a circuit board. Probably a little bit too much water in there. But it still shouldn't be any danger of it spilling out. And there we go. That's the end of my little video. Thanks for watching.